I'm Caden Oakley White. I'm heading to Columbia University in the fall, and I'll be studying astrophysics as my major. I'm from Slidell, Louisiana. Slidell is a bit of like a, a small kind of town city. I've kind of always seen like the community's relationship to events like COVID and Ida and Katrina, and just seeing that community build up one another and kind of cement themselves has just been fascinating to see. And I've really enjoyed being a part of that growth and witnessing it firsthand. I'm proud of it. When I was young, I was really close to my great grandmother. I remember when I was a kid, she used to live with us before she passed away. And she would point up to the sky at this beautiful, vibrant color palette of like oranges and yellows and blues and pinks right as the evening sun hit the horizon. That was kind of the, the first moment that inspired me to look up and like understand that there was something beyond what I could just normally see in my day to day life. I found this whole new reality that I never even could believe it had existed. I mean, pioneers such as Stephen Hawking, Neil deGrasse Tyson, the world of astrophysics and astronomy just was breathtaking to behold. And even as like a little kid, I could see how, how could anyone like possibly not lose themselves in this utterly fantastic universe that's just like right outside of our atmosphere. The community of Louisiana has kind of been racked with a lot of events lately and just to feel like I could play some piece of inspiring the younger generation to like see that there's stuff beyond what their immediate community might experience and to retain that and also use that to bring to their communities and strengthen them even more so has just been an excellent journey. I mean, even with just talking about the Infinity Science Center, I operate the Deep Ocean Explorer. It's one of the more interactive parts of Infinity Science Center, just to see like the lights and like these young kids' eyes when they see you know, the, the Saturn V rocket, or even when they go into the DOE for the first time. It's been an excellent service opportunity, and I'm really happy and I'm really grateful for this chance to just kind of inspire the next generation to look up, you know. To all the Elks who have made this possible, thank you so very much. I can't even put into words how much this means to me. And I know that sounds cliche, but to be given an opportunity to study what I want, to study my passion, and to be able to fulfill my goal of inspiring the next generation to join the scientific community and even question everything, you know, question the ground we walk on and the cosmos, the sky. Just thank you for that opportunity and I really appreciate the chance you've given me.